there's a nasty storm and it's really dark and it's raining or hail or or snow is coming and i'm simply in this place of acknowledging it that's all i'm doing i'm acknowledging its presence it's here and this is my suggestion to you my brother is next time <laughs> this is happening this is not positive visualization. This is not some system of uh, thinking positive, anything like that. This is simply an acknowledgement of an internal turmoil is happening and you simply acknowledging that it's here. Of I'm blaming myself or I'm struggling with myself or my mind is here and it's mind boggling is happening. You simply acknowledge its presence that it's here, whatever the story is. I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling uh, dumb. I feel stupid. I feel da 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 da. This thing is happening and you, you just acknowledge it with all the feelings that what do people think about me, um, whatever, all of it is welcome to be here. You welcome it because it's here. You simply acknowledge its presence. It's here, this drama, this internal mind boggling is here, it's visiting me. That's it, it's a visiting. Nothing else. You just stay at this place. You don't try to detach yourself from it. You don't try anything because the moment you try to do something, it creates an identification that you are a part of this. By simply acknowledging its presence, the storm has come. It's really big. It's overwhelming. It's overpowering you. There's nothing you can do when this thing comes, the only thing you do is you acknowledge its presence and you allow it to do whatever it does. And it will may take over your, your mind and you may just go to this thing, oh, it's driving you crazy. But the moment you acknowledge its presence that it's here, a very tiny crack has happened there's a separation takes place between you and this thing. And the separation is this, that you're the witness here, witnessing of the storm, but you're not the storm. Yet you're affected by the storm, of course, but you're not the storm. And the same thing here this mind boggling thing, whatever internal process is happening, when you simply acknowledging it's here, that means you're not it, you're the awareness of it. And what happens is as you do this practice, and you wanna do this practice with times that things are happy, like let's say something happened to you and you feel really, really happy, and you say, happiness is here, happiness is visiting me. Then maybe you have a, you know, your girlfriend does something or your friend does something and you, there's a moment that you get jealous or contraction happens. You do the same thing. You say, jealousy is here, jealousy is visiting me. And you start doing this with throughout the day or throughout the week, every time you remember. You can do it with good stuff, you can do it with bad stuff. And what happens is slowly, 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 you get separated from it. And the more you do it, the more you remember that you're the awareness of this event, you're not the event. And it has no power over the awareness because the awareness remains the awareness. It's the same awareness 
when you were five years old, yeah, it was aware. When you went through your puberty, you're 12, 13 years old, and your body is changing, there's something, there's a sense of I am, there's an observer, something is aware of this change. And then you're getting, you know, for me is now I'm 17, 18 years old, my agenda changed. Now I'm drinking and chasing girls and going to the parties and there's an awareness of what I'm doing. Then I'm getting a little bit older. I want to go to college and go to another country. And I want to become an athlete, oh, da, 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 all these things. There's an awareness, is aware of it. Then I'm just in my 30s. I'm reading like books from Osho. I'm doing meditation. There's something here in common that never changed. The sense of I am, the awareness, something is aware, and here the same thing. In the midst of this chaos of craziness, of internal battle that you have with yourself, there is something is aware of it. And that quality of awareness does not change. Something doesn't change throughout these ups and downs. It's the same thing that right now is aware that everything is calm. And it's the same thing is aware that everything is chaotic. You, are you, you, you understand? Yeah, I read a... I read a book called When Awareness Becomes Natural by Tejaniya, and he had a, he basically prescribes that same principle that everything is an object appearing to awareness, even people, events, and anything that you can possibly be aware of is, uh, is, just another object appearing to awareness and nothing ever stays. It just arises and then, and then disappears and then something else appears. And when I read that, I just, I had like a belief system come in that, uh, that that was too cold or that's like not like lovey, loving and because he basically, you know, said that, and, and, and I know that it's true. It's just, I have some resistance to like really adopting that everything is neutral, you know, that it, like you said, the, the storm, it doesn't care. It doesn't care what anyone thinks there's, there's reality and there's everything that's happening is neutral. And then we put meaning on it. And so Mostly what I'm saying is I've heard two different teachings, one where, and, and, I, and I can experience the neutrality of things and the awareness that when you're in that still space, then, then it's just, you know, there's always going to be something. There's always going to be positive and there's always going to be negative and you can focus on whatever and it doesn't really matter and except for to you. And then, so, uh, okay, I'll just apply it more. I know I just need to apply it and, and practice and develop the, the, the mental or the emotional or the awareness discipline. I don't know if you call it a discipline. It's just develop the habit of shifting into an awareness perspective instead of identifying with everything that's happening, identifying with the objects, 